Oh, I 100% hope that Pank gets to experience Mario abortion. I should wake up Weebly before the end of the stream. Yeah, Everyone else has left the greener mm -hmm. pastures. Mm -hmm. Weebly, do you have any closing words, buddy? Did, did you like the game? Then your taste is terrible! <laughs> oh my god. Yeah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna leave. I mean, no, no, I'm gonna put this delicately. I'm gonna, I'm gonna I'll, I'll try and put this delicately. I'll, uh, I'll go away for a few minutes, push shit out of my asshole. <laughs> Jesus, fuck you! I don't understand how you could put that in more delicately. Yeah, yeah no, no, I mean that is that's the about as delicate as I can do. Really. I think. I, uh, Jesus. This is this is the most stream. This is. I'm so glad that people actually come back out and like to guest streams because of this. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Did you forget that cis men existed for a second, Petax? Yes. <laughs> drumming strategy. It's called, I'm literally just going to hit the light punch button. Fine. Don't, don't think about it too hard. Don't think about it too hard. It's fine. Everything's fine. Everything is fine. I'm the, the elite sniper. Don't you know? The, the, the elitist. Oof. Snipers. Oh. This is a side stream! Elite Sniper! This is ethical. Oh, yeah, that gets out of the car. Uh, I'm noticing some minor glitches in this version that weren't in the original. A lot of visual information. <laughs> <It's> This is better than what I was going to play. <laughs> I fucking love it. This is so terrible. <laughs> 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 
know what sex is. Weebu is a child. Hold on, hold on a second. Weebu, wakey wakey. Weebu, do you know what sex is? This is why you're banned from stream, Weebu. <laughs> Good for you, buddy. I'm not. We're moving on. <laughs> that's, that's a fucking loop. That's a fucking loop from Mario Galaxy. Why are you here, buddy? I. <laughs> Welcome to hell, crab. Mario! 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 Sorry, bud. Don't really want to deal with your shit. I'll be honest. It's just so you know. There we go. Problem so so solved. Uh oh. Uh oh. What was that about the glitch making this game better? Because um, it definitely is. <laughs> Holy shit. Mario can use his pussy for things other than, than reproduction, <laughs> thank you very much. If Mario wants to get an abortion, <laughs> I believe... <laughs> <laughs> I believe in abortion rights for Mario's. I, I'm being, I like. <laughs> so... <laughs> I... <laughs> oh God. I... You have healing powers. Have what? Get your filthy fucking claw off my trailer. It's time. Pizza trick. Oh yeah, you can just change the eye expression. Yeah. And it's toe options. You have to go to the. <laughs> you have to go to the main menu and. Hardcore porn. 
What if my best friend, SPLB the Chameleon, was reading hardcore pornography? <laughs> huh. It does look like I fucked up the way that chat messages work on that screen. Hi everybody! Welcome to this! Where's the thing I set up earlier? There it is! It's the clip that Robert Hart's made. The bear can't jump. I... Two people... Oh god, bears can't oh, jump. Oh, oh, I remember. God, no! No! My blood! Okay, well, I need to, uh... Quickly... Turn off... Reactive, because no one's in call today. Um... Oh, that's the wrong button. <laughs> okay! Right, look. I was just here... Having a thing, I, I've i been told to eat a bean and exercise. This is a bag, but bean. Mm. Um. Three. I'm sad. Okay, so we're going to bask in the majesty of Gay Eldritch while I am... Um... Right, to be like, okay, so yes, I had a power cut. So I couldn't do any of the things I wanted to do. I had a decent time, but you know, it sucked. Um, and today I slept all day. So like, yeah... I'm not feeling very streaming. And I debated. Which of the two things I want to do would be the most streamable? Especially considering that, in a worst case scenario, the power will just break again. And I decided, Yu-Gi-Oh! Master Duel. I'm trying to learn the Yu-Gi-Oh! deck. Panda... Okay, chat isn't appearing on stream. I'm going to have to fix that quick. I think something about how I, um... About how I set up, opened up, mixed it up, has fucked it up or something. There we go. Now it's working. No, no clue what that was. Sorry. Um... Should disappear them all in a second as well. I really hope it disappears them all in a second. That is supposed to happen. But yeah, um, yeah, we go. Good. I just want to make sure I'm not covering up half the screen. But yeah, um, I'm not picking those two. The choices were Final Fantasy XIV and this, Panda. And I picked this. Fuck you. I... <laughs> Robin is correct, but that's not a point. Okay, so, um... I were, I want to get back into Yu-Gi-Oh! in real life, right? But, uh... Thanks for the sub! I'm still doing the intro! Dang! Only Tarsi or 83 just subscribed for seven months. Dabby Moji. Balls. Thanks. Um... Okay, yep. Yeah, power cut might cut this off any second. Who knows? Who cares? Whatever. I'm just trying to get some practice in on my Yu-Gi-Oh! decks. But yeah, so oh, I was going to change some things in this deck while I was at it as well. Hold on. Because uh, I have one of the field spell. There we go. And I am, a part of me wants to play one copy of Labyrinth Barrage, but like, it's not that useful. And there's also this dude. But uh, no. Oh, hold on, they're definitely not a dude. Everyone else here is a lesbian. Yeah, no, that no, no, I'm squinting. The, there are titty there. They're all lesbians. I need to put my glasses on, I've just realised. I forgot I wear glasses, chat. <laughs> it's a new thing for me, shush. But yeah, so, um... Now, the concept of labyrinth is that, um... 
They didn't want... They already had cards called Labyrinth. Is that the correct way? I've forgotten how the, what the correct way to spell Labyrinth is. But, uh... If I just reveal to you... It's this fucker's fault, right? It's, it's this fucker. Labyrinth Tank. And clearly in Japanese, they just called them labyrinth or something, right? But in but in the but in the the TCG, they didn't want it to be. They didn't want any of these other fucking. So yeah, no. So any other. So they've got another load of other labyrinth cards. So they had to call them when they're like, "What are we gonna call our fucking? What are we gonna call our lesbian archetype? Labyrinth." So you get the wonderful card, Labyrinth Labyrinth, for example. Labyrinth Labyrinth. Yu-Gi-Oh is a card game. Anyway, the uh, concept of this archetype is that there's this big labyrinth. With the Labyrinthians, or whatever the, the fuck. And there's a gay lady living in there. And all of her, her maid friends, her friends who are maids, like... Hold on, is Ariane not... is the other... there's the other one. Ariane, the one I'm not playing. She's got a labyrinth full of cute demon girls and living furniture. I think the joke might be that they are both Beauty and the Beast. Just like Ru Ruby. Just like Ruby. Okay. But um, but basically, she's very strong and, and you can see her armpits on the card. So as Tasha is right, apparently there is porn. Um, I haven't been paying attention, but yeah, basically some lady knight goes into the lab, the labyrinth labyrinth, and this, it's a story about how the lady go through big fight, while this lady cackles in the background, menacingly. You know, normal things. Some of the cards aren't in Master Duel yet. Um... But uh, basically, the reason this deck is good is because it combos nicely with normal trap cards. So, um, I'm just going to go through the cards quick. Okay. Uh, Coo Clock, which is a living Cuckoo Clock. If you discard it, you can activate a, a normal trap card or Labyrinth card or effect. Uh, you, one normal trap card that will set this turn can be activated, which means... That you can just activate a trap card, ignoring the one thing that makes trap cards bad. So yeah, that's uh, worrying. Maxi is here because it's Master Duel. Um, the furniture, I think you discard it in one more card to get one of the trap cards. Ash Blossom is there for Maxi because it's, it's, it's fucking Master Duel. Um... Yep, another one. Uh, they also can summon from the grave, I believe. I forget what this... I need to read some of the second effects better. Um, okay. If a card is sent from your hand to the grave to act like your normal trap card or your labyrinth card or effect, except Cuckoo Clock, while this card is in your graveyard, you can add this card to your hand or special summon it. Holy shit, that's actually real good. Why are people only playing one of the fucking Cuckoo Clock? I... I guess because you just search the Koo Clock, and then it keeps coming back. Um, yeah, no. Stovey Torby, um, who is a living stove, will get special summoned if a monster leaves the field by a normal trap effect. Uh, Shangri Lea, if a, uh, similarly, will be added to my hand if that happens. Um, these have been limited to two because too many people were playing this deck. Um, Ariana is the normal summon. When normal or special summon, you add one labyrinth card from your deck to your hand, which covers basically everyone else. 
Um, also, if a, a normal trap effect sends them off the field while Ariana's there, my 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 good little maid friend, um, I'll draw a card. I can also apparently special summon a fiend monster or set on spell of trap from my hand, which means if I draw something really good off Ariana, I just get it out. Huh? I holy shit, Larry Ariana's way more broken than I thought she was. What does Ariane do? I'm not playing her, but I'm checking just now. Um, one normal trap uh, set to feel. Send one special summon level four from your deck. Except, the okay, so she can search the other one, but also so can every, every other card I play. So I guess that's why she's not played. Um, the mother wants to you feel by your normal trap. I can draw a card and, and special feed a trap. Okay, so she has the second effect of um, Ariana. But Ariane um, basically just searches Ariana, so it's like, why, why do that? You don't need both of them, particularly, I guess. Maybe I think in some builds you could make it, maybe go into rank four things. But uh, yeah, then you only need one of each of the women because they recur quite nightly. Panda, I think they were trying to call it the Labyrinth. I'm not gonna lie. Note that they are all women, and that they are all gay for each other. Both cannot attack and monster effects and the activation of your normal trap cards. So trap cards can't be stopped by a monster effect. That's very good, because that's how most decks deal with that sort of shit. Um, and you can, uh, also, this resets the trap from my graveyard. It cannot be activated unless you control a fiend monster. All of my monsters are fiend monsters, so I will. Um, if another monster leaves the field by a trap effect, I can apparently destroy one card of my opponent's heart at random, or on the field. So, basically this lady destroys all the other, uh, the opponent's cards. And if they don't want their cards in the graveyard, or destroyed, that's quite nasty. Um, then you get her in armour. When you control a set card, it can this card is immune to be targeted with card effects and can be destroyed. So it's... It's a big old bungus that can't be got rid of easily. Um, once per turn, if you uh, if a labyrinth card effect normal card was activated, you can summon this card from your hand. So this bait is a big lady that summons from your hand when you search her. Basically, when normal trap is activated, you can set one normal trap from the deck. So this one, despite the art, this is she defend and also she attack. Um. Nibiru is here because it's Master Duel, and if I go against a deck that can infinitely summon and activate Maxi, I'm fucked, unless I have Nibiru to interrupt somehow. Also, it's just useful. Whatever. You can discard it if you don't need it. Uh, Pot of Extravagance, Pot of Prosperity are here for drawing. Uh, I was playing evenly matched to clear out other opponents' back, uh, back cards, but I've decided... The thing is, I can just use Lady for that, actually, so... Especially if I'm playing Labyrinth Labyrinth, a, which is searchable. If you activate a set, Welcome Labyrinth, you can add an additional effect. Uh, that's a Welcome Labyrinth normal trap. Note this, because there's multiple cards this technically counts as. Fuck you. Um, uh, basically, if I activate certain cards, also after that, destroy one card in the field. This thing just out get, lets me pop a load of opponent's cards. Also, if I activate a non-labyrinth trap, normal trap, I can special summon feed monster from my hand or graveyard. That's additional recursion. Ooh, I, I, bearing in mind this is the stuff I wasn't playing even, and some of the cards aren't even in here. Uh, called by the grave because I want to deal with other hand traps and Max, Max C, Max C again. This bastard. Eradicate an epidemic virus. If I tribute a dark monster with 2500 20, attack, I can make it so that basically I see the opponent's hand, which is evil. I destroy all spells or all traps that they control. Welcome to the chat, Pete Locket. I'm explaining things. I'm evil. Um, all cards they draw. Yeah, for, so for three turns, they lose all of their spells or all of their trap cards, which is... Now, there are ways around it, which is why I don't feel that guilty playing it, but also it is basically an auto-win. 
So, um, yeah. Sorry, everybody. <laughs> Infinite impermanence, it, it, you can stop a monster effect. Most things in this game are monster effects. Um, waking the dragon is my little thing in here. Because I could be playing just the full power thing, right? Uh, it's Master Duel, who cares? Money isn't an object. But I wanted to test a deck I want to play in real life. And I already have three copies of this in real life. <laughs> and also, I think this is funny. If this set card in its own control is, is left the field because of an opponent's cup effect, and is now in the extra deck or banished, thank you for the bean. Oh, come on. Get out of the, get out of the fucking packet. In, in, into my mouth, bean. Go on. Okay. You can special summon one monster in your deck or extra deck. Now, I don't really need my extra deck for much, right? Now, I could, of course, just make this a good sub deck, summon out the Labyrinth or, or whatever oak I need. Um, yes, I did, Panda. I ate it while I was doing the exercise. But yeah, um. But yeah. So, Waking the Dragon can summon anything, including the extra deck. Which is why I have some gifts for my opponent. Last warrior from another planet. If it cards a special summon, destroy other monsters you control. Neither player can summon monsters. This is very funny to me. It's not good. If it was good, I wouldn't actually play this. It's just very funny that I can technically create a deck where... In the very weirdest of scenarios, I can create a deck where my opponent can't use anything but one sort of card. Which is pretty evil. Hit your exterior, this thing can negate spell trap effects. Um, it's not The fusion summon of it can only be done with the above materials. I'm not doing a fusion summon. Um, <laughs> uh, Blackwing Full Armor Master. This dude's just, um, I can negate opponent's monster effects, but also it's unaffected by other cards' effects. Which means uh, n no one can destroy it except by attacking over it. Uh, similarly, Raid Raptor Ultimate Falcon, um, unaffected by opponent's card effects. None of the rest of this is activatable on Raid Raptor Ultimate Falcon, but it has slightly higher attack than the other one, so it's harder to beat. This is a ter this is terrible. Do not do this. I'm doing it because it's funny. Barone de Fleur similarly is just a very good card, can negate a lot of stuff. But you'll be noticing Oh yeah, because I'm playing Pot of Extravagance and Pot of Prosperity, both of which cost to draw card they will let you draw cards, but at the cost of cards from your extra deck. Which is why I've got two of everything, so I can discard a bunch of them and get luck uh, and not lose out on all my strategies necessarily. Dark is here because most of the monsters are dark. Um, I will usually be fiend locked because of Welcome Labyrinth, um, but um, it doesn't matter too much. The extra decks where the fusion monsters live, Tarsia. Um, Dark, dark Charmer, Mark Ray from the Underworld. Um, I'm noting also that Unchained Abomination is here. Partly, you always got two decks, Tarsia. It was just called the Fusion deck when there weren't any cards that weren't Fusion cards in it. Gee. <laughs> you get, in the main one, you get three decks and always have, except nobody paid attention to that rule as a kid. God, I, God, I wish I paid attention to that rule as a kid. I'd be so much smarter now. Anyway, um... But yeah, Unchained Abomination is also a Waking the Dragon target. But also I can just summon it if I have two plus monsters including a Link monster and it and it's pretty tough. So it's like, whatever. Um, Mark Raker has three copies because it's one of the best things in here. And also only a, it's only a super rare. But um, uh, it can't be used as Link material until it's summoned. But it can you can discard a card to summon something from the from a fiend from the graveyard. And so it's monster reborn. But you always have access to it if you have any two monsters. And also, it lets you protect a fiend monster, which is most of my deck. Not too bad. 
Not that most of them need it, but you know. Um, Nightmare Unicorn, it's here because it's a fiend and it's easy removal. Um, and Underworld Goddess of the Closed World. Technically also a target for, um, for Waking the Dragon, but the best use of this thing is to use one monster my opponent controls as material to link summon it. It just lets me tribute my opponent's cards, which is a very a, a, an effect that very few cards are immune to. So this thing is just goodbye, goodbye everybody. Anyway, yep. Um, a trap trick is also here, partly because I want to get other traps out of the deck, and this just as long as you've got a, a, two copies of it in the deck. You can take, you can make this be any trap card for the most part. That's functionally how it works. There are some limitations on only activating one trap card afterwards. But also, I have two copies of Waking the Dragon in the deck. So if I've got a trap trick set, and my opponent goes, okay, Harpy's Feather Duster, I activate trap trick, I search out Waking the Dragon. Waking the Dragon is then activated because they destroyed Waking the Dragon. So unfortunately I have five copies of it. <laughs> but yeah, our core traps for the actual deck are Welcome Labyrinth, summons any Labyrinth monsters from the deck. Uh, I It stops me for from summoning non-fiends for quite a while actually, which is I'm, I'm only playing two of it. But, and, but it does reset itself automatically. So it is a very good, it's still worth playing two copies of. This bastard, Destructive Daruma Karma Cannon, changes as many bots on the field as possible to face down defense position. Then, if either player controls a face up monster, they must send all face up monsters they control to the graveyard. This is for getting rid of shit like Ultimate Raid Raptor Ultimate Falcon. Uh, they, and also, you know, any Link monster, because Link monsters can't be in either face down or defense position ever because they don't have a they don't have a defense stat so basically if i can't destroy a thing or affect a thing this will get rid of it in a weird convoluted way but i'll get rid of it i own this card in real life it's very pretty in real life <laughs> big welcome labyrinth Again, special summon one labyrinth from your hand, deck, or graveyard, so it's better than Welcome Labyrinth. It also, again, counts as Welcome Labyrinth for the field spell. So both of those cards may get the additional effect of destroying shit. Bash, uh, so you can, yeah, and then you can, but you have, the downside is you have to return one monster you control to the hand. Now, that seems bad, right? It, it's not, it's not actually that bad, though, because... Like, Ariana's effect will theoretically still be able to be triggered off that, right? Maybe you have some spare stuff because you keep summoning stuff. You can turn that to the hand. And also, if you fetch Lady Labyrinth and then return Lady Labyrinth to the hand, you can then summon Lady Labyrinth with her own effect. So it doesn't matter. <laughs> this deck's a lot. Um... And finally, a new card that is inexplicably in this, in Master Duel already, and I will never be able to afford in real life, but like, I needed something to replace the cards that aren't in Master Duel with yet, so, uh, uh there we go. Transaction Rollback. The main effect of the card is to pay half your life points and then target one normal trap in your opponent's graveyard, except another Transaction Rollback. This effect becomes that card's activation effect. Now, this is some peak Yu-Gi-Oh bullshit, right? Because activation effect doesn't include cost. So, for example, if it was to target Eradicated Epidemic Virus, I would not need to tribute a Dark Monster. That's the activation cost, not the activation effect, if I remember correctly. So, this can wreck right that. Uh, won't work on Waking the Dragon, I, I'm fairly sure. Because that isn't the effect it gets when it's flipped up. Um, 
Uh, this one, this one will work. Um, I don't think trap trip works because of how it's worded, but it's not possible. These two work, and you know any other trap card my opponent plays, which won't be that many. But the thing is, it doesn't matter because what transaction rollback is here for is its second effect, where you can banish from your ga graveyard, pay half your life points then target a normal trap in your graveyard and do the same thing. So basically, if I'm in a mirror match or another trap deck, I can steal their effects with this thing. But most of the time what I'm going to be doing is discarding this thing for another card's effect, and then I'm going to be activating my own traps twice because it's now the effect of transaction rollback and not the effect of the card I'm, I'm using. So, for example, you can only use one big Welcome Labyrinth per turn? Well, I mean, the thing is, the effect I'm using is Transaction Rollback. Just because it's an identical effect doesn't mean it's not that. So I can do... I can do it twice in one turn! This deck's bullshit. Just, just to be clear, this deck is bullshit. And I've made it weaker. Because I could have just, like... Hold on, I need to also just change the Duelist Cup version to have the field spell in it. So I'll try that in a few places. But yeah, so essentially, this deck's bullshit. The problem is I have an empty brain full of ants. And I need to memorise how to get to the bit where I win a bit better. So... We're going to start off with a nice, easy... We're going to do my dailies a little bit. Um, because these two will both go down. There's also this thing right now called the Duelist Cup. And that's a lot of gems. Tasty, tasty cardboards. So I might do that as well as a practice. But to start off, we're going to play a bit of solo mode. And I'm going to hope that I have some left that are still, like... No, it's all loner decks. Ah. The problem is I've gotten most of the rewards, so this will just be me, like, playing against the AI for three duels to make sure I've got the hang of it. But... Yeah, no... Probably worth it. Aha! Okay. Opponent's turn. Uh, neither of these stop that. But it does mean I can set a card that I'll be able to activate on my first turn. So. Which of you I want to discard first? I think I want to discard you first. And I think it's probably more valuable to drop you. Because I don't think there's a once per turn on Infirm. There is not. Okay, so I can neither set Labyrinth Labyrinth or Big Welcome. I'm going to set Big Welcome, I think. Because then when they return to the hand, I will get both of those guys back. And every there's a lot of cards that we got set. Yeah, this is actually this is quite this is quite this is quite bad. Okay. So, I need a card to return to my hand. I normal summon Ash Blossom. I have to be welcome. This is probably not how you're supposed to do this. There's the large woman. And now I'm going to return Ash Blossom to my hand, which is where I want it. Okay, let's yeah, activate you, activate you, activate you. Here come all of my cardboards! Maybe Torby go there. You go back in hand. And you will destroy one of the cards in my opponent's hand, which was... R Raviel, Lord of Phantasms? What the fuck? What the fuck is this deck? Oh, never mind. Um... <laughs> yeah, so... Uh, she will let me set a normal trap in my graveyard, which includes a big welcome, actually. So I'm doing that. 
Get there. There we go. Uh, now, I'm not sure Impa will actually do much against this. So I'm going to actually chuck out one of my Imperms now. And I'm going to set the Labyrinth Labyrinth so I start popping things. Uh, okay, I want to set that and I want to set that. And also, wait, it's turn two. I almost forgot it was turn two. So, um, now I could discard my Ash to get another search, but I don't think I really need it, I'll be honest. I'm just gonna... I'm gonna stick to what I got. Okay, there's something an Eldritch monster. I'm going to Ash that for a start. And then I'm going to activate Big Welcome Labyrinth just to rub in the dirt into the wound. Delicious, delicious dirt. I'm going to... Hmm. Hmm. I want an Ariana in rotation is the truth of it. Oh, Ariana even. Yeah, so if Torby goes back, Labyrinth, Labyrinth, then goes, destroy one card in the field? Oh, well, don't mind if I do. By opening of the Spirit Gates... This thing is negated. Then Ariana uh, is normal summon, so I can add a, a Labyrinth card. So uh, Lady Labyrinth also activates to pop a thing. Angrily goes back to my hand again. <laughs> You're starting to see why this is a bit bad, huh? <laughs> but also I want to remember how to play this in paper. No, I'm not going to. I'm going to throw on the face downs. They're more valuable to them. I'm going to add Lady Labyrinth quick. There we go. Okay, they're setting another spell trap. And I'm going to summon this lady! Um, I have no benefit to doing that right now. Here's another woman. Okay, that's that one. I. No, I don't think any of this does anything. Actually, yeah, none of that does anything anywhere. Ah. Well, what graveyard effect is it? Ah, yes, I can banish it and then tie one fiend. Okay. So I can return a card, I can banish Big Welcome to get rid of one of my opponent's cards. But the thing is, I don't really need to do that because I have, in theory, way more than enough damage to deal with them. Uh. Hmm. <laughs> oh, yeah. Sorry, I had a sneezles. Um... I think I'm going to activate Trap Trick in order to... Which one do I want to search? Welcome gets a card. I think I want to activate Big Welcome. Because, oh, the benefit of Trap Trick as well is that... Oh, if I activate that, I can switch up on a Fiend once my hand a graveyard. Sure. Well, I, I guess I'm special summoning the one with attack points. Sure, go for it. Um, <laughs> but now I can activate another big welcome. So, which will get me out. Let's just go attack points here. Because what I think is going to happen is that... Um, is that one of these is going to be a trap monster. Yep, I was right, Conquistador. Um, I can add another card. <laughs> I can now destroy another card. <laughs> so yeah, this deck's pretty bullshit. Know that I'm not even good at this. <laughs> uh, deck to my hand, let's add a, add a coup clock. Why not? 
I can't activate any more trap cards because of um, the thingy, Bobby. Ooh. I am just gonna. There's no reason to redo this, but there we go. There's a woman again. And I'm gonna kill you with my maids. I will say, I kind of wish there were more like. Formats in Yu Gi Oh! where it was optimal to have like the entire archetype of cards. Because sometimes you get things like Labyrinth, and it's like, yeah, all these neat cards. Which are the best ones to play? Um, the three of each of the good ones. So, uh, yeah, let's not play against that again. But uh, I mean, hmm. need to work out a deck that's actually g okay. I think Ricka has tops. There, I can play it well. Then this is a decent test. Uh. Rick and Silver and... Uh... Yeah, I'm trying it. Just to prove to myself that I'm capable of... Oh, that's a hand of all traps! Hi, everybody. Can't kind of have two of these... Now the question is, do I set transaction roll back or do I wait for it to be discardable? I think I'm going to set it because I'm like that. It's not technically the optimal one, but I'm here for intimidation. Uh, Sprout. Okay, big welcome. Get me a uh... I just want to defend myself, honestly, so... Lady... You getting rid of your card? No, you're not. Okay, and in turn... No reason not to pop welcome. Let's get... Ariadne. We'll get me another card. Let's, let's say we want to get ourselves a, another big welcome. Sure. Uh, I can activate the big welcome effect. I don't like my opponent. Okay, now it's time to draw cards. Uh, one of you. I'm going to ditch you, you, you. No, the one that looks bad. You. Yeah, let's go with that. What did you learn today, Rocket Pal? Also, hi. I'm drawing card. This was probably a bad idea, actually, because it halves the life was. And also, now everyone knows I've got waking the track, and if they're paying attention. <laughs> Yeah, I'm realizing why I don't you don't play this card in Labyrinth if you're playing Waking the Dragon. Um Yeah, let's get Labyrinth Labyrinth, why not? Uh this does not matter because the deck will be shuffled any second. Oh, rollback is some is nonsense, yeah. I don't know why it's out in Master Duel already, honestly. Oh, okay. Uh I have another big welcome on the field so I can do this without fear of death. This will do less damage, but it's like, it's fine. They'll deal with this. Right. Huh. Debating, what do I trap trick into if I do with this? I'm going to Karma Cannon. Can't go into the fucking. No reason to go into Rollback. There's no reason to go into Waking the Dragon right now. Yep. Why the f. Why were you playing a Gemini? I'm so sorry. Why were you playing a Gemini deck? 
Why? Why? Why are you playing that in any format where rollback might be an option? I'm... I'm so sorry. <laughs> oh god. Okay, um, what does your fact do? Normal summon, activate until they find a plan. Okay. Well, there's no reason not to do this, I guess. Okay. Okay. Uh, normal track, I think, take normal track, a different normal track. Okay. I'm sure there's a, there's always a purpose. Don't worry. Okay, the lab set. Hold on, does it need, does this deck need spells? It needs link monsters, I know that for sure, so I'm going to set this thing. <laughs> uh, what am I special summoning? Well, I'm special summoning. Uh, the woman. Uh, return you. Uh, also destroy a card. Why not? Free material for her, I guess. Okay. Yeah, no reason not to do a random hand pop. Uh, no reason not to draw a card. Uh, monster leaves your... Is there... Do I want to... No, I'm not going to set the additional welcome library. I've got one already. I do... What the fuck is this tree? <laughs> Build monster instead of the graveyard. You can switch something this card in your hand. Okay. Uh, okay, so there's some sylvan thing going on. I don't understand it. But, uh... Do I have anything else I need to summon right now? Not really. Here's a large tree. I've drawn a card. No, I don't need to set that. I've already got one. Throw a card in the opponent's hand. Sure, bye. Did I... Oh my god! Okay, maybe I shouldn't be destroying cards in their hand. It seems to get them draws. I don't know how Sylvans work because nobody plays them. Um, uh, what's your what effect's being activated? Oh, the excavation effect. Yep, yeah, no benefit. No reason not to just welcome. I guess. Let's just get a Stovey Torby in, in rotation. Is that once per turn that that gets an additional pop? Uh, no, it's not once per turn, so... Oh, I can't activate that because it'll set this turn. Okay. Let's... Okay, I need to discard there. This will I will be losing on it either way. I'm trying to think, which is terrible, because Master Duel isn't good for that. You know what? is trying to add ah, a removal spell. Oh, and I just changed the battle position. Okay, I now shouldn't do Daruma Cannon unless I need to. Uh, not that I really need to Daruma Cannon for this thing, but still. Um, do I want to... I mean, I quite like the big welcome back. But I don't... Need it, need it. Especially as I've got Torby in. <laughs> yeah, no, going for it. Big welcome. Uh, bounce the back row back to the hand. Uh, I'm not going to set you right now. I'm going to Torby. It's the trap trick. Set the last big welcome. Oh my goodness, do I seriously... Did I seriously chew through all of my... Oh, yeah, because I trap-tripped with the first one. Duh. Oh, I forgot. Okay. This is why... This is why you, you read your trading cards. This is why I'm trying to learn how to read. <laughs> okay, so... I don't think any useful... Tar I have any useful targets left for trap-trick. At this point, uh... 
but it will mean I've activated a card, which will mean a hand pop and a set from a normal trap. Okay, so I'm activating trap trick not because I need to, but because... Fuck it, I guess? <laughs> okay, that activates the Labyrinth Labyrinth, which would... Okay, uh, summon one fiend from my hand of graveyard, yes. Don't need to activate you. Need to get back Ariane. Activate the effect to get another card. There is very little benefit to doing this, probably, but bring it. Let's get Ku Klux. <laughs> Quote bot being very helpful there. Ice. Hold on a second. Because that card. The Lambert or card effect of normal trap goes after this turn, and you can sort of summon this. While normal trap is activated, you can set a normal trap with a different name direction. I don't know why that didn't activate. A normal trap card is activated, you can set a normal trap with a different name direction from the deck. I, I don't know what happened there. It's... Whatever, maybe it's only the first time I... It's fine. It's fine. I've dealt with this. I'm beating up a robot. I don't need to be perfect yet. Just, okay, just Ash Blossom. Gee, maybe I should have, I probably, there's probably a searcher card that I could have. Well, never mind. Mm. I've got this in the bag now. Right. Hi, Cockroach. <laughs> Okay, so I'm going to activate infinite permanence and negate this thing's effect. This is entirely so that the trap can't be activated. Um, I don't need to do that. I'm just going to... It's a robot. I'm going to just get it. Feel the power of my women. There we go. <laughs> yeah, so on Master Duel, I'm pretty confident of this. The worry is when I have to play against either actual people or remember the effects myself in paper. Hmm. Which of these decks are actually good? Ah, hold on. The Last of the World Legacy might be actually good. I remember having trouble with these initially. Maybe it was because I was using the Okay, that's the red eyes one. I'm not doing that one. Uh, Ge Gemini, Gem Gemini mon monsters. Neither of these are going to be any good to f to test against. Is is, is this duel going to? Actually, be harder. It's the opponent's deck. One. Uh, I mean, they're capable of doing some of the band stuff. I guess. We're going against Red Eyes. It's the funniest one out of these. It's the I've just remember yeah, it is the lone deck at this point, isn't it? Oh. Oh that's a that's an opening hand. Okay. Pot of extravagance. Give me two cards. my luck there okay what did i banish oh unchained soul that's a bad one both the last warriors from another planet oh shite wow that went real bad <laughs> could have i mean there's theoretically worse ways that could have gone but like you know what i'm i'm gonna set a fucking ash blossom that's where i'm at I've got to beat Red Eyes' protection. God. Yeah, no, activate that. 
We need a maxi in the in the Oh don't ash my maxi. Oh I've been beamed. Bean time. Red eyes fusion? Yep, yeah, no that's a good one to, to stop. I mean, actually, to be fair, it would have meant they'd only be able to summon that one Red Eyes card, but... Yeah. Bean, high day. Mmm. Mmm. Yeah, water and sugar is a bad combo. Oh my god! Um... Any other traps? And I'd be able to activate them. But I can't. So, <laughs> well then, I guess that's why they stop people from using three of those. Activate Max C again. <laughs> the Ash Blossom saved me. Oh my! This is this is a torture duel. These are supposed to be quick and fun testing duels. And instead I'm here. In the fuck zone. Oh my god, because they had me in a trap I can summon her! <laughs> no! <laughs> My opponent is doing a better job than me! Okay. Now the genuine question is... <laughs> yeah, no, a big lady is better. If she's about to be destroyed, I can, I can activate the epidemic virus, but... Genuinely, it is a better move to just have a big woman. Hold on. Waking the dragon isn't once per turn. Huh. If they do actually destroy my back row and get the waking the dragons. Oh, thank fuck, a trap trick. Okay, we're almost out of here. I shouldn't have said that. If I'm going to be playing a trap trick, rule one for myself is don't set traps during main phase one. That's technically suboptimal. <laughs> Okay. Okay, I think I'm about to get off to the races. I am off, off to the races. Trap trick, targeting, big welcome, or... Do no, they are big welcome. As I end the turn, big welcome time. Uh, and, uh, yep, made Labyrinth effect. Not going to be actus, actus, they, I'm not going to be able to activate this until next turn, but now I can get both Welcome and Big Welcome into rotation, that's good. Uh, summon. I think that one missed timing. Um, let's, let's, big, this lady here. It's woman time. Turn Lady Labyrinth. Activate her effect. Activate Lady's effect. Here's more women. Uh, no, because I'm going to destroy them. I'm going to destroy this bastard because it's annoying. <laughs> okay. Or a card. Okay, I can I can activate Big Welcome, but I think the better move is to bring Big Welcome back and get back the Lady Labyrinth as a result. But before I want to do that, I want to get some additional women out. So... Get an Ariana into rotation, activate her effect. Which will get me the field spell, why not? Activate the field spell. No benefit not to.
large woman attack. And then before the end of this, I'm going to just tribute one woman. I'm declaring spell. And... Well, all their hand is Red Eyes Black Dragon. Oh my god, this is what playing Red Eyes is like, huh? Yeah, no, I've, um... They're fucked. They can't do anything with this hand. Uh, I can special summon a fiend from my hand or graveyard. Well... I mean, I guess I'm summoning her. Again. Oh, she now counts as a new monster. Oh, I could have killed them this turn. Oopsie. <laughs> Should have summoned her in attack position, I guess. Uh, set. Oh. Oh, Jesus. Hold on. Hmm. If I summon back our eradicated academic virus, I could make it so my opponent has access to no spells and no traps. That feels... I'm going to do that now because I'm never doing this against a real person. That would be cruel. <laughs> Meet, you are technically correct. The best kind of correct. Tribute the lady again. Now I'm going to say no trap cards either. <laughs> Also, here's a Maxi. Why not? Just, just I'm bullying the robots. <laughs> yeah, I know you don't have traps. It's just if you draw one, then now you're doomed. Although I said that, oh, it, oh my god! Wait a minute. It's just dawning on me that, like, the field spell means that I just get the woman back every time I... Oh, Christ. This is evil. Oh, my God. I feel like I'm committing crimes. And this was from a brick. Like this was this was from me not doing good. Oh my god. If I can memorize some of the combos in this thing. I'm I would actually be good at Yu-Gi-Oh, which is te terrifying. I should not be good at this card game. I'm I'm bad brain. I my brain is bad and my head meat needs to be refreshed regularly. Yay. Okay. Right. Now comes the real test of valor. I'm going to go against people who are actually good. <laughs> Cuz um the AI isn't isn't amazing in this. Won't lie. Me, me, no. Me, no. No self deputy me. No. Me. That's not a good way to think about people, and especially not yourself. No. No. Okay, um. Okay, so normal summoning and fusion pendulum link will happen over time. Not. That quickly with Labyrinth, I might be throwing games to summon Muck Muckraker. <laughs> but um, what I'm after is the ones that are for dueling in the Duelist Cup. The Duelist Cup ones. Here's the bit where things are going to get bad. Because the people who are playing Duelist Cup are actually good at the game. And they want to do good. Because they want all of these shiny, shiny rocks. They really want to be DC 2024 Mars and Sage Duelists, you understand. Also, this is enough, to be fair. 
not an unfair thing to want to do, because this is enough gems to make a basic deck. So, it's, it's worth it, in theory, if you can do good. The problem is, um, ev I think everyone will be playing Snake Eyes. I don't really know how to deal with Snake Eyes. Because for some, they released the deck that is currently ruining the format early in Master Duel. For some reason. So, let's just try. I don't really care that much about winning. It's a, it's nice to get gems out of it. But this is just a place for me to do things. Yeah, okay, they've got a card they can activate. Got the Maxi bud. Got the Maxi bud. Come on. Maxi me. I'll Maxi you in court. Oh, which I mean I have called, by the way. No. No meat. Uh, I will try and give a brief... While I wait for this person to do anything... Um, with their very good sushi. Um, the way that uh, Snake Eyes is a... It's a, it's a format... It's a deck based around a smelly witch who smells good. In a bad... Smells bad in a good way. Whatever the fuck I'm talking about. Um, I think this is a set. I think this is one of those set four separate cards and smile at the opponent turns. Okay, so... They probably know what I'm on because there's only one good trap deck in the format right now. But, um... I mean, the thing is, it depends because I'm bad at the game, so they, the, uh, the game does match me with other bad players. But... The dark... The, uh, the, dark, the real dark energy blades are the friends we made along the way. And also, um, Dear Bellstar, the, the witch or whatever the fuck her name is. I, it, a black witch, I think it is? Would... They're trying to play Burn? I think? Fuck, fuck it. Trap trick for the, the Welcome Labyrinth. Okay, I can technically only activate two traps after this. Maybe I ordered that wrong, but, um... Also, they're playing Burn, by the looks of things, so, uh... Yeah, let's get a, let's get a large woman out here. Also, has everyone seen my burger? I love my burger. This, these are usually... Yu-Gi-Oh cards are not food, by the way. This is just a coincidence. <laughs> okay, yep. They activated Chain Energy. A card that is so old it still has his slash her rather than there. Before the... Is this a bot? Is this a fucking bot? This is awful. Self-destruct ant. Each player takes a thousand damage if it's flipped, except they normal summoned it. So... <sighs> Activate Welcome Labyrinth. They ain't doing shit. You know what? When I meet a bot, I do like to make it so that they... Also, get fucked. <laughs> oh, you know, yeah, we'll summon... We'll summon Ariana, actually. There's no way they're dealing with this shit. Uh, add another card. Add the... Big welcome. Now, the thing is... 
If this is a bot, I can I can just destroy them with deck devastation after eradicator epidemic virus next turn very easily. Like that'll be fucked. <laughs> That's <laughs> oh sorry. They've gone to battle phase. Because yeah it's a bot. This is this is a fucking bot. Jesus Christ. Who plays a bot in the Duelist Cup? Just, just grind the regular ladder. <laughs> the bot is not even smart enough to know that self-destruct hand isn't gonna work. <laughs> They're just taking damage to themselves. Jesus Christ. I feel like the self-destruct bots have gotten worse. Like... Not in terms of prominence, but more in terms of they're really not very good at losing the card game. Even though that's their sole goal. Now, I am streaming, so I should probably not make the bot go on for longer than I need to, but... Uh... Fuck it. Uh, let's say trap cards. Seeing that you have several of those you didn't activate on turn one and you're a bot. Come on, it's processing. It's activated. <laughs> there we go. The activated mind drain. <laughs> Neither player can activate the effects of monsters in hand. Actually quite a useful one. I probably should have activated Soapy Torby just there. Actually now I think about it. Oopsie poopsie. But oh wait no it's a continuous trap. So it's going to get destroyed by Eradicator anyway. <laughs> I'm probably human. Statistically. Statistically. Yeah, this is gonna be how this works, huh? You know, you have no cards in your hand. Roll six sided die and Vic dies opponent's life points equal to the total results. That's so are they trying to burn? I I don't know if this is genuine, but I'm gonna I'm gonna I'm gonna disturb Vittori do dropping trap trick so that I can um get that one's effect in before Mind Drain comes into account. Because I can. Also, I like when the number go big on the chains. This is part of why I wanted to play this one. Is because there's an achievement for getting five chain links. And when you're playing cross-platform, you have to do that on every platform to unlock them. Pass of Destiny. Okay. So. This is... Okay. I'm genuinely gonna set Labyrinth Labyrinth. Fuck this. I mean, technically they popped all their traps off, so like... I guess they've... Done something here. Okay, here's the Dark Room of Nightmare additionals. Okay. Hold on. No, it isn't. Infinite impermanence. Fuck you. <laughs> I win my way. I win my way, bot! The fiends! Yeah, so, um... Rip to them, but I'm, I'm different. Um...
No, I thought that would have taken that out, but that's a shame. Oh well. Um, I think this is just quicker for other players or something than playing the game, I guess? The self TK box is basically if you leave it running for a longer t long time, it will grind up the thing. <laughs> Magic cylinder! Okay, this person might actually be trying to win and I might have actually fucked them over. Because this isn't doing self TK damage, this is trying to burn me. Not very well, but it is. And I think I can pull this off. Genuinely, I just need to, um... If I if I re-get the uh, Radica Dominican Call spell, they're just fucked. And it's a bot, so I don't care about it being evil. <laughs> Against people, I'd feel a little bit guilty. I'd try and play a bit fair. But, like... This is a robot. Hey, I'm playing the, the Lab Lymph. Okay, so a big welcome. Do I want to go, lady? No, I'm 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 summoning a woman. Fuck it. And return. No, I do need to return. Shit. Oh, I marked that one up. Uh. Also, after that, destroy one card in the field. You say? Well, let's get rid of chain energy. That thing's. Annoying. <laughs> uh, and now I can destroy. The special summon this <laughs> Oh my god! <laughs> oh my fucking god! They walked in expecting a Costco and they got they entered a BDSM dungeon. Jesus Christ. <laughs> oh Christ. Oh I I feel a bit evil. Um No I don't. I feel I feel vindicated and powerful. Those are some one labyrinth ones for my deck. Um, let's grab. But what about second Ariana? You know? Uh, no need to destroy a card in the field. Oh, wait, hold on. I keep misremembering which effect is which. This is. I'm learning the deck. That's. This is the point of the stream. Um, change another card. No need. Uh, add from deck to hand. Coo clock. It, it'll be useful potentially. You're just the walking labyrinth from the grave. Okay, so. Oh my god, I've done it! Uh, what card I want to set? Well, I want to set my, um, my welcome labyrinth, in fact. No, I wanted big welcome shit. It's fine. Don't worry. I'm just winning in two turns rather than one. Um. Or am I? I might have done my maths wrong. Wait. Oh, God. I turned that off. Sorry. The, um, uh, I sh I sh I turned off the bot com the um I should have turned that off on for the sorry I need to go into mix it up and fix that quick hold on commands removing add quote because that is not supposed to be on on the one that uses my username Thanks. Mix it up. <laughs> you have added the quote successfully. The quotes are done through Nightbot. So. It has been added. Don't worry. 
someday I'm going to have to make it so that that people can't do that, and it will be a sad day for us all. Um, I guess the downside of this deck is it is quite slow, because there's a lot of things I have to think think through. Big whale come. I mean, there's also white whale. That's a deck. I was genuinely considering playing a deck called Goatee. And one of the best cards in that is situationally a card called White or a Whale. So you summon a big white whale. And it fucks up the opponent's deck. Okay. Chain in one. Do the normal summon. And big welcome. There we go. Defeat me if you can, opponent. Defeat me if you can. Which I I actually don't know. You might pro you probably can. Depends what deck you're playing, to be honest. Like <laughs> I I maybe I should build Goatee at some point in Master Door. I just worked out that a cheap um a Sirocco He's really talking about him. I should have. I should have searched Big Welcome. Uh, I don't think Sirocco is going to do much apart from walk over Ayana. And. Uh, Yeah, no reason to stop this. I mean, I have the deck dev, so I could probably just book him up at this point, but like... Actually, I might have blown my load a bit too early rather than building up resources when I think about it. Ah, it'll be fine. Right? Right? This person does appear to be using trap cards. That's interesting. Okay, don't worry about it. Stovey Torby. <laughs> put the stove away and put the rock away because they're not summoning for some reason. And big welcome. Bet the big welcome. Uh, I got a normal trap in the grave and set it. That will be the welcome, which is a bit early, but whatever. Battle. Any of traps going to do anything, bud? Oh, Kaloot? <laughs> okay, that's funny. I'll give him that one. That's funny. Ah, oh, dang it! Because it was the battle phase, I couldn't. I couldn't chain the virus. It's fine. Whatever. I mean, these—they are just playing an Edison Blackwing deck, huh? That's not what I was expecting, but it's—it's it's completely fine. I can't activate Welcome Labyrinth because I don't have a Fiend on the field. So I need to activate Big Welcome to get a Fiend on the field, actually. Monster Reborn? Are you... Okay, I, I have a way around this. But I, sh I should have realised that they were just playing... Why are they playing this? 
Am I just am I just left with only the people who aren't very good at this? Activate big welcome. Uh, because it can summon from the grave, I'm gonna summon lady. I'm gonna summon my woman. So um Here comes my she's she's back! It's women! I do then have to return woman to my the woman to my hand. But this stops them from stealing it, so <laughs> And also does he just have a stuffy torpy? Oh for fuck's sakes. This deck is bullshit! I well, I didn't. I walked into the the room full of children, expecting it to be full of pro duelists. This is the second Yu-Gi-Oh tournament I've gone to where this has happened. Fucking hell! <laughs> Against the wind, black ones in your graveyard. Take your turn. Equal test. That is actually your hand. Okay, so they're just gonna try and do this again. Oh, I now control a fiend. So like. Are they trying to prove a point, you think? Uh, I actually think I'll go Ariana. I'll have both of them. And this gets me another search, which will be... Hmm. Welcome to Big Welcome Invitation. Let's go... Yeah, let's get another big walk of it. I also hope this is un at least vaguely understandable to my not so familiar with Yu-Gi-Oh people. Which I summoned a normal graveyard. You do not have one. You could have got back Kalut and synchroed with that, but okay, they're going into a seven potentially. Sevens are available. Hmm. How many? Yeah, you have 15 cards in the extra deck at least. The welcome can summon from the hand as well. I was just double checking. That was. Okay, so synchro summoning is maths. You do maths. Armor master is can't be destroyed battle and they don't. Oh yeah, that's standard. Let's see if there's a web counter to do that. There is no benefit for you to do that though. Really? And they've called the haunted. Are they going for their tuner again? No, they're going for Sirocco again. Huh. I guess because they want to actually take shit out. Yu-Gi-Oh! was a card game. In theory. Okay, so yeah, you... Uh, okay, you're consolidating your attack into that. I'm going to say no! Pick one. <laughs> Infinite impermanence, your effect is negated. Oh god, that does also negate Call of the Haunted. Which means that if this thing gets destroyed somehow, it would, technically speaking, leave a Call of the Haunted on the field because its effect can't go off. <laughs> Early Yu-Gi-Oh card design. Yeah, you're gonna try and get rid of me. Well, um, yeah, no, go ahead. This this changes nothing. This changes nothing. Okay, trap trick. 
people. This is the sort of deck where they would definitely be playing a Harpy's one copy of Harpy's Feather Duster, to be fair. What's a fate? What act? Ah, that's the big welcome effect. I can't activate this big welcome effect, so I can't, but I can. Is this one? If I level it higher, I can. Okay, so I can only return one once. Okay, I can patch one card here and try one to you control. I actually think I do want to do that. I can only return Ariana, but the the this number one gets me back Stovey Torby <laughs> and big and regular welcome. It also means I can normal summon it. <laughs> <laughs> Yu-Gi-Oh! is a fucking card game. <laughs> uh, add some deck to hand. Let's go Lady Lemery. Oh, wait! I've already done... I activated the thing. So, um... Hi, woman! Second? Oh, me. Oh, I've hit the deck with so many more than two. <laughs> oh, fuck me. You know what? If you're destroying it anyway, eradicate your epidemic virus. Get fucked, nerd. <laughs> Yep, the one card left in hand is Kalu. <laughs> Holy shit! Oh, well, I was gonna summon Mark Rake. Hold on a second. Yeah, you were once per turn. I can't do that. Activate Mark Raker effect. Disc uh, special summon lady. Discard lovely. I've exchanged my women. What will you do? Hold on, can I have some of that in attack position? I totally could have, but this thing isn't destroyed by battle, so there's actually no point. Eh. <laughs> Again, I went into Duelist Cup because I wanted to trade against good duelists. And I'm playing against Edison Blackwing. I love Edison Blackwing. I have a physical copy of Edison Blackwing. Minus one card because I I've, I've forgot to order it. But like... Actually, two cards. One of them's, um, one of them's lost in the mail. But like... This is a good fun deck to play. Don't know why you do it in the Duelist's Cup, though. I'm not going to take any damage, you understand. This... Uh... Oh my god, hold on a second. Big welcome. <laughs> Is that an additional track? <laughs> And, um, do I want to start? Yeah, no, let's get another card. There's no reason not to, right? It's all going to be fine. Yeah, I wanted to play against the other... Okay, special summon from the deck. Let's... Yeah, let's get Shangri-La in, in the rotation. Uh, set a card in the field. Let's go with... Hmm. Yeah, I guess I'm gonna set you. I'm not sure it's gonna be much use. Unless they have one of the better ones. 
it might be they brought, got a full Iron Master. They're not playing Edison accurately because they've got Monster Reborn. Uh, special Summon from the Grave. Yes, you. Uh, attack position. There's no rule. Not to... And then return Mark Kraker to the, <laughs> to the hand so they can't destroy it. <laughs> Hey, by the way, uh, so if you Torby, in fact, you can sum this card. Yeah, well, I'm just getting the materials back, you know. Um, fence. Would you destroy a card in your hand? No, I'm going to destroy a card in the opponent's field. Bye. So long. Look, to be fair, I'm trapped in silver too, but that's mostly because I don't play much and I didn't have the good deck. <laughs> Victory by the <laughs> damage only. <laughs> oh, Lord. Uh, <laughs> also, I got a copy of Demotion. Demotion, everybody. Demotion. Okay, this person's actually got accessories. That's a good sign. Well, technically it's a sign that I'm going to lose, but you know. Good sign for the literal intent of the stream. Okay, have a welcome to start with. That's probably good enough to get me started. And good hand traps. Oh yeah, this dinosaur doesn't like to be contained. Okay, especially... Oh, yeah. This is, uh, looks like it's probably Tenny Sword Soul. Um, a deck I'm not good at dealing with, but that is... Um, yeah, fuck it, Ash this thing. I think that's the best Ash. I really don't know. Yeah. Yeah, they're doing the Tenny stuff. Don't know where to interrupt this necessarily, but... Not too rough unless they have a, a critical mass of tennies. Um, I think they just link climb for a bit. Yeah, so this deck's very much like uh, monsters without effects that are benefited by cards that do have an effect. Uh, combines well with Sword Soul because they also use the worm type. Sword Soul uh, designed to Synchro Summon. Uh, it turns out Tenny and Sword Soul go together so well that um, basically every deck with that's doing Sword Soul also plays Tenny stuff. Yeah, they've added you because you still have no effect monsters. You could you could special summon that, except you've already done it once for this turn. Okay, gone to Shaman. Is Shaman's effect worth getting rid of? This card title on my dream, so summon it. Yeah, I think this is just a climbing point. No need to ash it. Or in permit. Even <clears throat> Yeah, Also, if they summon a big link dude at the end of this, it's like I've I've got the karma cannon. <laughs> and then you go to the 
three ten years. One of the link three ten years. Normal summon Ash. Sorry. It's excusey. Oh wait a minute. Oh I know what they, oh, they might be trying to sink her for a ten. Which could be bad actually. Oh. Then again, I wasn't expecting normal summon Ash Blossom, so yeah, that's big Teddy Boss monster. Not many badge cards yet. I'm getting a duel. That's what I asked for. If they can draw Synchro, they can summon my Tenny. Really? You sure you're not going to do more? Huh. And fair enough, I'm not want to, I'm not going to be able to stop here. Okay, let's see how I can destroy them this turn. Yeah, I'm going to have to, otherwise they'll probably get momentum on me. Uh, yeah, deal with that guy. Oh wait, I'm fucked. Oh, I, I can't do anything, huh? I mean, to be fair... So I've just wasted the infinite impermanence there. That was my bad. This thing I think also lowers, yeah, it lowers my monster's attacks as well. Okay. Yeah, we keep bashing stuff. That's probably not a good Ash. Let's just walk Data now. Use the effect to destroy one card. I. Yeah, hold on. I just get this thing. I can't get rid of that because I mucked up with the imperm. I could have got rid of their boss monster. I'm annoyed at myself. The problem with me and Yu-Gi-Oh is that you need to think for that to work good. Uh, let's banish, you can banish one card first if you do that in graveyard. I'm going to to I want to my lady. Oh shit, because I didn't see what was targeted, they targeted my face down. Shit! Should have activated it. Mm. I, I, I saw it coming. I just... Uh, I was hoping they'd go for the Ariana. For some reason. Summoning again. Benefit to summoning this thing other than just fuck you. <laughs> I guess. Yeah, just, I'm just too far behind. I think I might just do behind them. Yeah, I'm so yeah, understand that like this deck is good. By which I mean, basically all Yu-Gi-Oh decks are this good. Maybe, maybe not some of the like weird edge case stuff, but like Sword Soul just summons and summons and summons and summons. I don't know how to stop the fucking thing. <laughs> I went to a tournament, it was all fucking Sword Soul. I lost 
basically every game. <laughs> I will say, I think if I can, I'm. So what did you? Um. About... What effect was that? Oh, in the world. Uh, oh, okay, it was yeah. Banish this. Uh, target opponent. Yeah. You lose your attack that turn. No, I think I'm just dead. Yep. Fair enough. Good game. I lost because I misplayed. <laughs> now this is what most of the duels are going to look like on this stream. This is what we're here for, is me being like, oh, I could have probably done much better than that. <laughs> I may in fact swap to an easier mode if I'm really feeling fucking miserable by the end of this shit. But let's try and get at least a few proper games. Ooh. They got the Chaos Max Dragon. Also, from what I've gathered, this is a deck that really needs to go first. And, uh... I'm not good at recognising what's a good going first and going second card right now. Okay, so, uh... Okay. Yeah, I'm going for this. Let's actually get stuff started. Time to use Coo Clock. For its attended. F oh, wait a second. One normal trap card. We'll set this turn. If you control a labyrinth monster. Okay! The things we learn when we play the bad card game bad. Don't worry about it, everybody. It's fine. <laughs> Shit. <laughs> no, me. That, that, that wasn't a child. Oh, that actually... To be fair... Age is not a massive factor in Yu-Gi-Oh! competency. Um, one of the best players in the world started because he wanted to play with his son and then has won multiple tournaments with bullshit Exodia decks. And back in the day, there was famously like someone who was like 10 and beating like Yu-Gi-Oh! pros. So like, it's, it's not that simple. It's not as simple as being like, oh. Uh, that's how it works. It's... Okay, so I'm going to be summoning Ku Klok for no reason. Because <laughs> I feel like it. Um, yeah, add fate, welcome Labyrinth. Yeah, the Ariana. Uh, with that, I can destroy this card. Which was a much <laughs> Milan. Okay, we're we're bullying children again. We're bullying children again, chat. Ah, oh, shit. <laughs> okay. Do they have a dark in there? Nope. Marshmallow is a light. I'm going to do a fun move. Uh, get the field clear. Links on Muckraker. Activate Muckraker effect. Uh, Ariane. Discard transaction rollback. Oh, no, no attack position actually because we, there's nothing else on the field. Might as well get the damage in, activate the effect that I accidentally right-clicked on last time. Uh, do I have anything that you want to do with that? Not particularly right now. Uh, add from deck to and big welcome. Oh! 
Well, well the gamer is raiding. Welcome. With two sets of eyes. Delicious. <laughs> I forgot it said that. Hello. <laughs> Thank you for raiding. Eldritch Zoe. Do the shout outs. Um. There, I've, I've typoed your name, but it's fine. Don't worry about it. Hey, another Master Duel player. I'm, I'm trying to learn Labyrinth because I feel sad. And I need to inflict that sadness upon others, I fucking guess. Sure. You know what? Yeah, transaction rollback. Half my life points is a, is a cost worth paying to. Just gotta time everything good, right? <laughs> to just... How do I click that? Summon woman. Let's see if I can click that. This won't trigger the labyrinth, labyrinth because. Oh, whoops. That. No need to do that. Oh, didn't play around gauze. Whoopsie. <laughs> Not that anyone in this format plays gauze. They have their destruction, but I need to learn that because I'm going to be playing Edison. Um, set you. Activate labyrinth. Uh. Get the welcome back, because I can. I'm doing... I keep beating up children by accident. That's where I'm at. How are you? I hope your doors went better than mine. <laughs> but um, I'm trying to learn this deck, so I've put myself in the Duelist Cup to put myself in a bit of trial by fire. And what I've battled is several children and a self TK bot. And one duelist, he was playing Sword Soul competently. So. <laughs> I mean, I wanted to battle people who were also tough. Like, I'm not very good, I'm, but like, still, I was expecting... I was expecting better than Manju of the 10,000 hands. Oh, I'm bullying children again. Oh, I don't like when I have to bully children. It's not fun. It's not fun to bully child. Well, 17, fair enough. Uh, yeah. I guess I'm resummoning the clock, I guess. <laughs> Look, I might be able to just... Oh, oh no. Oh no, I'm going to be able to summon the white woman. Oh no. Oh. Oh. Yeah. I am nowhere near level 17. Um, but now I'm trying to be quite casual about these things. Okay, you're attacking, are you? Okay. Now, the thing about Mark Raker is... Um, sorry. <laughs> I'm doing the same trick I did previously, apparently. Oh no! Oh no! I feel bad! Oh no! Oh no, they were a bronze! Oh, I feel bad! Oh, I mean, I'm only in silver because I haven't played for ages, but still. I. <laughs> oh, I mean, yeah, no, I am here for. I'm, <laughs> I'm down here at level 9! <laughs> And I'm, I'm, I am not having a particular... I'm mostly just doing it because I get the, you know, mission things as well. But yeah. Well, I'm going first. That means I've probably won. Maybe I should design this deck to be able to go second as well. Um, oh! Oh, the... Uh, I don't know Jinx Monsoon apart from being cast in Doctor Who. So good for them. I... I Okay, I've already drawn the epidemic virus. Oh dear. Yep, okay, summon. Ariana, get. Okay, I should probably combo this properly. You're the one that summons. Do I not? I don't know. Let's, let's go. Yeah. Because I have a card to discard, I discard that transaction rollback. To search the card that Ariana could have gotten me anyway, which is going to be... Let's go 
big welcome to start because I've already got Lady in and 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 um, I I mean I believe this deck is sort of a going first style deck but just because of the trap card stuff um I'd like to have a build that's a bit more mixed Hold on I don't think I should have done that actually Ah well come on defense position uh, Shang Lear goes back to hand now. Um, else in the oh yeah, I've got a oh I've got a second. I can do a second big welcome at some point because of the oh or I win. I've defeated Brody Fenrir. Oh god, that's a combination. Oh, that's a combination of words I've had to read. Isn't Fenrir the horse that got created when Loki fucked a horse? Am I misremembering that? Because, oh... Oh no. <laughs> uh, going first decks ones that benefit more from going first. Yes, but, um... I don't think you have to go first for any deck. But, like... Got fucked with a horse. Oh, I mean, that is a powerful name. I've gotten a copy of Dark Mirror Force, everybody. Dark Mirror Force. Also, Snake. Oh my god, look at how they've edited that gun. Oh, god damn. Oh, Slepnir, sorry, yeah. No, you're right. It was Lepner. But yeah, no, um... I'm not even playing Optimal Labyrinth. I'm... <laughs> I can afford to play Optimal Labyrinth now, but, like... I... Do I want to? I don't know. <laughs> because I seem to be doing pretty well with the version that I put Waking the Dragon in. Oh shit. Oh. Okay, so. Uh. Okay, I'm gonna wager that this is Labyrinth 2 and I'm going to ash it. Because most decks don't play extravagance over. Um, yeah. Oh, wait, no, it's Master Duel. I'm a dumbass. Shouldn't have done that. They, they might still be Labyrinth, though. <laughs> um, okay. If they are Labyrinth, I'm about to win, uh, though, so... Because I drew Eradicator again. Okay. So... I'm going to try and work out what deck this is. Summon, and if I need to, I summon a card and then instantly turn it into another trap. <laughs> uh, I shouldn't put that on on. Oh my, they ended turn. Okay. Okay, no, they're just having a bad day. Oh, I should have. I should have summoned. I should have summoned. I mucked up there. Oh well. Uh, welcome to the labyrinth. We have fun and games. We have everything you want. Although we know the name. People that you find wherever you draw both of the gold by the graves. Jesus Christ. Oh no. Oh. I just drew the you win hand, huh? Jesus Christ, me. Please stop talking about whatever the fuck that is. Okay, let's go, Ariana, to start. Uh, 
fetch myself the... Let's get the big welcome. I probably should have just attacked there, but fuck it. Whatever. Mm. Uh, what are they playing at? Destroy all spell traps your opponent controls, eh? Um, well... Activate big welcome. I'm not really that bothered by this, <laughs> I'll be honest. Uh, let's get Lady... Because I could then bounce Ariana back to hand. Which isn't really the optimal strategy, I guess, but like, fuck it. Activate. I'm also left the field, you say? Well, uh. A welcome labyrinth. <laughs> <I activate. laughs> Here it comes. Now, I think I want to pop the hand because I want to see what's going on. B d hud hud t two Narby lady. I. I I'm I I da I I da I da. Uh, oh, it's the big welcome in the grave, huh? I, I, I love. I'm, I'm in shock. I don't know what the fuck's going on. Okay, let's um. You know what? Let's just get the large woman. I'll save the welcome for a bit later. Okay. Well, I... Oh. I'm sad. I wanted to see where this was going. <laughs> They're higher rank than me! <laughs> True duelist. Um... I need to know what this deck was. I'm I'm so curious. I can't. I can't check what the deck is in Duelist Cup. Oh god. God damn. I'm sorry, I saw Tarzan say that was drag and I was like, well, the match wasn't that bad, right? <laughs> Fucking hell. Um, oh, well, let's see if I can get to level 10, because I'm, I'm approaching, oh, ah, we just followed, Miguel, thank you, hey, you summoned that thing, I'm so sorry, um, <laughs> yeah, okay, I got the starter, so, um, perish, Hold on a second. I think I actually want to... I think I actually want to grab... I think I want to do it this way. Yeah, have a have a good... Thank you for dropping in. Yeah, now I've just got both of those engraved. That's a ton of material. Get the big welcome so I can get the woman. There to pass, there we go. I think I'm getting the hang of this. I've just added a few additional steps that gets me raw resources. And that's kind of... That's kind of what I need to do, is to work out little combo -y bits. Which I could be doing in, like, many better ways, but... Instead I'm... Uh, Resonating? 
centimeters. I don't know whether to ash this or not. I genuinely don't. Um, let's assume that they're bluffing and doing the, the less good thing first and just bring out a big welcome. You know what? I'd like, the ha I'd like to have some hand pops. So, woman... I like that I just started calling her woman. <laughs> I feel like that will be bad out of context. <laughs> Jesus. Okay. Yeah, they got us. What does... Oh yeah, no, I can instantly potentially pop it. Huh? And then shangri goes back to hand and Torby comes on, goes onto the field. No, it's an easy. Okay, so they gained. Oh, resonator and all. So seventy. Okay, it's resonator stuff. I'm not good at resonator stuff. I have many wives, me. I'm... I, I actually... Hmm. Okay, summon the soul. And I'm just gonna imperm that. Okay, there's... God, there is a collection of chats happening. Okay. Drew the big welcome, that's good. Um, okie dokie. I think I might just win. Um... <laughs> Summon Ariana. Grab the. Grab the large woman. Summon the large woman. Okay. Battle. Hold on, I've just realised I could have gotten in for an attack. Ah, well. I just realised I could have uh, linked off uh, Sophie Torby and Woman and then brought her back. Uh, that would have done more damage. Oh my god, that would have been lethal. Oh, fuck. <laughs> okay, look, it's fine. Don't worry about it. I'm giving the opponent a chance to be very cool. Okay. I'm not owned, you're owned. We're going to resummon the woman by discarding this one. I forgot I already did that this turn. Don't worry about it. Let's set the... Okay, I have to set the imperm, but that's enough to probably beat them. <laughs> what the fuck are you talking about? What the fuck are you talking about, chat? <laughs> Don't forget me, there's both the Suicide Squad and THE Suicide Squad. One of them's good, and one of them is bad. 
One of them has Peter Capaldi in them. One of them has a giant starfish in them. One of them is bad. <laughs> okay. Yeah, no, we're... we're... Okay, so... I was hope I was genuinely hoping for tougher duels than this. I swear, this is. Put one out track. One, yeah. Uh, what am I setting? Let's set. Uh. No, I'm saying deck death. Just, just we're done. we we're, we're, we're done. <laughs> Let's go into special summon. Let's get another Ariana. Uh, return Lady, and then Lady will summon again. And also return so I can the hand. Then to hand. Oh my god. Welcome to Labyrinth. Welcome to Chainlink fucking 5, everybody! Back she goes! Here they go! You go back to my hand. You destroy a card in the opponent's hand. Goodbye! Fucking... Desrook Archfi- What are people playing?! What is going on? <laughs> I... Okay, activate that from the Labyrinth. Uh... And then I'm going to just sort of... Oh, I can't use their card because it's face up. Never mind. Uh, not face up. Never mind. Fiend. I guess instead I'll just be forced to summon the less impressive card. No, I don't need to be using the Ash Blossom. Bye. You have a magic cylinder or something? You can stop this? You can't stop it? Defense draw. Um. Well, okay then. Bye. <laughs> I. I'm. Well, I reached level 10 and I'm, uh... I feel like... I feel I less like a victorious champion in the marketplace of ideas. And more like I've been bullying children for two hours. Now that was... It's a really fun deck, and I'm getting the hang of it, which is the point, right? Also cruising up this thing, blimey. But, um... At the same time... You lot are talking about something completely different. And I'm... 
I'm tired of <laughs> playing card games now. I'm gonna not. I'm gonna stop playing card games now. Let's let's leave. Um. Oh, you're still visible. Go. Be gone. Bleh. Phoenix Mutant Ninja Turtles was an was an indie based on Daredevil. Why are you still? Why is? What is going on with you fucking people? Why are you like this? Why are you here? Oh fucking hell! Okay, where's the thing that helps me know where to raid? There, at channel. There we go. Okie dokie. Seems like there is a decent number of tradable paydables. I'm just. I'm sending you to Pank. Fuck it. I. There's multiple video essay places. You discuss this in the server if you want later. I'm sorry to cut you off. But, um. It's the stream end time. A second Marvel. Miss Marvel. She was good until they killed her. And then unkilled her within a week. This is a real thing that happened. I hate YouTube. I hate, I hate comics sometimes. Anyway, welcome. It's end of stream. I am Eldred. So we, I stream on Wednesdays and Fridays at 8pm. And I feel like I haven't had a bath in several days. <laughs> Blade is in fact Marvel Tarsier. But that was released during the period where Marvel didn't have the license to half their fucking properties. Um but yeah, is Pank. Um we're draining the Pank. Hold on. I should just have a button that shouts out Pank at at this point. Fucking hell. Squib. <laughs> Look at them squib finger. <laughs> Ooh, also, that's a very specific that is a job for a packaging engineer because that was like math that yeah. wasn't done. <laughs> so She's a mutant now. Don't better. worry about it. I might actually yeah. be able to work at a Lego hobby shop. I don't have a raid phrase. The Do they let you Lego fuck the Legos? Shop. Fuck. It's, <laughs> it, 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 it's not. It's Lego. 